Uh, Coach, coming out here on the West Coast so early, what is the advantage that you see from your guys really being able to play early out here on the West Coast? Well, I think it's a great opportunity for our guys to really hone in on tying together. Uh, you know, the defense travels. Uh, no matter what, we got to make sure we're sitting down and guarding. It's a really, it's a really great time for us to bond together and come together as a unit. Speaking of the defense, they had a pretty big game on Wednesday. What did you like about them, and what do you hope they continue to do moving forward this season? Well, just sticking to our principles, making sure we protect the paint. I believe, you know, Houston had 32 points in the paint. Obviously, we got to make sure we're taking care of transition, getting back, uh, taking care of the basketball is a big portion of that. But then just being able to protect the rim and then finish possessions off with the rebound. And, of course, when you still talk about the defense, you've got to talk about J.I. and his performance, just that block at the end. Of course, getting the tech. But for you, seeing him not hold back, what did you like about him on his defense? And just, I mean, how did the tech, I think the tech kind of gave the momentum, too. Well, you know what? You know, we talk about you not wanting to get techs all the time. <laughs> Obviously, that's a, that's a big portion of it. But we want to set the tone defensively. We are going to be a defensive team first, and that, that defense will generate our offense. But I think it set the tone, the way the atmosphere was in the building, the way our guys were supporting and what he's done and he does such a great job of you know covering up different things for our guys so I, I like the fact that we're setting the tone for our defense first. I know defense is what you prioritize during training camp you talked about being top 10 top 5 in defense what about uh, free throw attempts I know that's a category that you guys are probably going to excel at. Well you know you want to take away the amount of free throws that your, your opponent shoots but you want to make sure you're getting to the free throw line uh, and that's part of just straight line drives attacking the basket you know our, our, our strength is in our size you know our ability to punish switches, uh, get the ball in the paint, and finish in the paint. And if you don't finish, you've either got to spray the ball out or you, you can get a foul. So I, I really think that we got to make sure we're hitting home on those things. And our guys really do understand that. Shooting 26 free throws in that first game is a, is a, is a good start. One of the challenges against this Portland team, obviously they come off the loss against the Clippers, but this is their, their home opener. I imagine they're going to play with a lot of energy. And well, that's the great part about it. Our guys have felt what that home, home opener feels like, you know, with our crowd and how amazing it was. So I think they can understand when we talk about the energy that's going to be in this building, the atmosphere, and what the, how this team's going to be on a high adrenaline. So we got to make sure you weather the storm, but you got to come out and make, uh, take the first punch. You got to bring the fight to them versus being back on your heels and just waiting to see what happens. All right, thanks, Coach. Thank you, guys. Appreciate Obviously, this is Portland's home opener. Uh, how important will it be to match their intensity and energy like you played the other night? Uh, very important. Uh, you know, come out and do our thing and, um, you know, play the way we play. Um, you know, I think it's going to be very important tonight. Uh, you know, not let any antics of a first night or, you know, their energy, uh, you know, rile us or, you know, take us off when they go on runs because it's going to happen tonight. Uh, you know, it'll be us. I know you talked during training camp about being top five in defense. Do you feel like this is a group that could be top five in free throw attempts? Absolutely. Um, I think we, we have a ton of great athletes, a lot of big bodies. Uh, we can punish switches, um, you know, and live in the paint, um, you know, so I think that's been a priority for us is uh, getting shots at the rim, getting foul attempts and, uh, you know, just help us to get easier buckets on the offensive end. Forcing uh, opponents into turnovers, you guys did a lot of that against Houston. Is that kind of a staple of this defense as far as being able to create opportunities from a scoring standpoint off those turnovers? Absolutely. I think it's the easiest way to play is play amazing defense, get out a run and uh, get free looks. Uh, we're all young, we're athletic, uh, you know, we're good when we play fast. So, um, you know, just looking to have great defensive possessions, um, you know, whether it's turnovers, defensive rebounds, you know, one shot possessions, um, you know, get out and run in transition. Do you guys good Henderson at all as far as, no, no, no familiar. I do have one question. This is the earliest that this team has done the West Coast trip. For you guys, do you guys see that as an advantage to get on this road and do the West Coast early on, on the first one? Absolutely. I think it's a good chance for us. Um, you know, young team, you know, we want to prove ourselves this year. And, you know, what better way to come out West, uh, play two great teams, you know, the Lakers and Clippers, uh, you know, veteran-led teams, and then two young and hungry teams in uh, Utah and, and Portland. Uh, so I think it'll be a great test for us, you know, see how locked in we are, um, you know, great to come back and, uh, you know, come out West, be some road killers for a little bit, start off the year, and, uh, yeah, build on that.